I was a very hyperactive kid, so basically they wanted to take a nap. I couldn't, couldn't do the nap. She said, Bobby, she said, we're not gonna make you take a nap. We don't think you can handle that. So she said, um, why don't we do something different at nap time? And I said, okay. So I said, what do you want me to do? And, I, and, uh, and she said, well, what do you like? And I said, well, my dad and I have a garden. She said, perfect. She said, you plant a garden every day at nap time. And that's what I did. garden they were just a little small garden but it was right in this area here and one of the reasons I think she did it right there is because she could watch you know it wasn't like I was being out by myself after I graduated with a PhD I was going shopping at the uh, Sam's, which was on North Monroe Street. I noticed Miss Leadham was in there. And so I literally had not seen her since first grade. But I recognized her, and I went over to her and I said, uh, Miss Leadham, I don't know if you remember me, but I'm Bobby Ashburn. And she said, oh yeah, I remember you. And I said, well, you probably won't believe this, but I got a PhD. And she said, oh yeah, I believe that too. Did Miss Leadham seem surprised you earned a PhD? Not at all. Why do you think she wasn't surprised? Good question. The main school building is really very much the same as it as it used to be. You know, I always feel good when I drive down Miccosukee Road and drive by Kate Sullivan. I look over, I see the crocodile. I remember we did the research when I was principal. The students did the research. That was one of the things we wanted to know about the name and know about Kate Sullivan. And we had the um, crocodile. Well, for sure, the front of the building looks very much the same. It still has the kind of an old home feel. And I think it just has that kind of classic neighborhood school look to it. The one thing that has not changed is the community's involvement with this school, the look of the school, and I think the values of what this school represents. classroom for 16 years, which I tell Miss Twine all the time. Would you like to come in? <laughs> it looks a bit different in here with the um, carpet. Well, I started here in 1980, and um, all three of my girls went here, um, most of them kindergarten through fifth. I grew up coming to Kate Sullivan, I lived here in the summers and after school because my mom was a teacher here for 18 years. You know, I told my children to be anything but teachers. I went to school here. We lived in the neighborhood. Emily didn't listen. And then come full circle, I've been teaching here since 2015. She became a teacher. 
and now both of my daughters go to school here. Fond memory I have is of a student that I taught in first grade, Emily Westfall. My son will shortly go to school here. I ended up hiring her as a teacher at um, Appalachie. And she was actually Emily's first grade teacher, so I knew her well, and I taught her son. Her mom taught my son. And then my husband has been hired as the new PE coach. So we are gonna be a, a whole family at Kate Sullivan. I remember when I started in 2004, I was a little apprehensive coming here um, after leaving my previous school, but as soon as I started, I found that it did have that family atmosphere. I think the, the value of a school is the relationships you develop with people in the school. It's difficult for me to ask for help. I try to do everything on my own all the time, most of the time, but when people see the need, they will help you. You go to school to get an education to be a teacher, but to truly be a teacher, it takes heart. Even when you don't ask for help, people see the need, so they will help you. And I think I might get emotional here, so let me. <sighs> My first year, she had a stroke. And they, people, my teammates, not even my teammates, other teachers jumped in to help me. It was on a hurricane. And they just jumped in to help me to get everything prepped so I could go and check on her in Miami. It was, it was a very difficult time. In 2021, she had another stroke. And again, even that's under Miss um, Lawson's principalship, she, was there, whatever you need, you take care of it. My teammates, as a fifth grade teacher, jumped in. You take care of your mom, do what you need to do until you can get things together. My primary focus is to always be here for the students. So once I got it together, I came back. But just knowing that if I needed to leave, if I you know, had an emergency, then my team had me covered. So th that's the biggest part. In the morning before school started, we always had a pickup game of some sport on the playground fields that are now a parking lot. This was the outfield, and then down here towards the stop sign and the Goodwill bin was home plate and the backstop. My fondest memories of Kate Sullivan were those times with my classmates, just enjoying life and running around on the playground. This was the outfield. There was no fence in the outfield, so the ball could roll forever if you did. All of my teachers were wonderful. I, I enjoyed every one of them. We're having a birthday party to celebrate 75 years of excellence here at Kate Sullivan. We're going to have birthday cake, of course, because 75 years is a big thing to celebrate. And we want everyone in the community to come out and um, look at the school. I want them to remember the times that they had here. This is my kindergarten classroom with Mrs. Warren. Ah. I want them to have those memories of, I remember that teacher that was in that classroom. You know, I think my life would have been substantially different if I had had a different teacher in the first grade. There's something about Kate Sullivan that keeps you tied to this school. My mother went to Kate Sullivan. Everywhere you go, you see someone that says, I went to Kate Sullivan. She moved here from Leavenworth, Kansas. And they will say, Kate Sullivan has not changed. And this was the first school that she attended. We are rich in history. And both of my sons attended Kate Sullivan. It's just neat to be third generation 
Kate Sullivan Crocodile. Senator Graham, um, grandchildren went here, his daughters went here. In fact, Gwen Graham was the PTO president when I was principal here and her daughter was here. Having my children go through Kate Sullivan was a very happy, happy thing for me that they came to school with me. It's been a pleasure in my life to kind of come full circle, you know, with my mom being here for 18 years and then for me to continue the legacy here. They hated to leave at the end of the day. Like I would be finished doing what I needed to do and my girls would say, can we stay a little longer? You know, they weren't ever ready to go home, so they loved Kate Sullivan. It is just that sense of family and community that I've experienced since I've been here. I'm happy being in this place. So it's my goal to stay until I retire. I would say thank you for basically turning me around. When you walk in here and you walk on that front lawn um, off of Mikasiki, you just feel that community, that sense of family, and that's just what Kate Sullivan is. Oh, another teacher I didn't mention was Lori Cox. She was just such a special PE coach to have here. Um, and still such a good family friend as well. Let's see, I, don't know what I remember walking across the crosswalk with my mother the first day of kindergarten. I was not happy. I didn't want to leave her. Um, kind of a mama's boy. She walked me all the way to the classroom. Every school I've ever gone to as an principal, that was my feel. You create that family that was at Kate Sullivan. And it's so unique that it's hard to create it any place else. It's just something about Kate Sullivan. I'm most proud when I see kids that have grown up that come back and tell me that I was their favorite teacher, you know, and that they remember me and they remember the things I did. Um, so that probably makes me the most proud that after 30 years, they still remember me as their second grade teacher. I think if you have uh, a teacher that can, can identify that a person maybe needs something a little different, they don't have to immediately label them. As soon as you label a kid, I think they're going to be like that. It's going to be a self-fulfilling prophecy. So that, that's important. You have to know the children. You have to know what they think and how they feel and what's important to them. I think that was the first year that Kate Sullivan um, put a, a yearbook together. I might be wrong on that, but I'm pretty sure it was. I also remember the custodian was a super nice guy. Um, I wish I could remember his name, but he raised pigs and he would come around with a bucket and get all the leftover food and clean it up and take it home to feed his pigs. I can remember the milk we had uh, in the uh, cafeteria was never very cold. It was, uh, <laughs> it was hard to drink. We had such great events like field day and water day and all of those like activity days that, you know, Kate Sullivan, we used to have a great fall carnival, we still do. Um, but the, the fall carnival has been going on. You know, those activity days were just so much fun growing up doing those. These two girls right here are still some of my best friends, but I had a fun time going through this and actually like looking at everybody's names and um, um, this was, um, I guess I was on the fifth grade council here at Kid Sullivan. But these kids, when they, they're hugging you and kissing you and saying thank you and, you know, bringing you the pictures that they've drawn or whatever it is, you know that like you're in the right place. And I'm like, and I get paid to do this. I get paid to, to do this is amazing. But this place, it's just a special place. I've been at lots of other schools, but there's something extremely special about Kate Sullivan. I have taught multiple siblings within families where I've taught them all and watched them grow 
and become adults, go to college, graduate, inviting me to graduations, just being a part of those families and keeping those connections. And to know that they've developed from this child into this productive adult who's now, you know, going to be a very important part of our world. So the connections make, I've made with students, it's so important. Uh, but I do think that my favorite teacher uh, was Mrs. Hogan Moeller. And maybe the reason that I like her so much is because she would take the kids that uh, made the AB honor roll or better or some level. And she had a big party uh, at her house and she would have us over there and we would have ice cream and run around like crazy. But she was a great teacher as well. She was, she was firm, but she knew she cared about you and she kept you on track and made sure that you were learning. You have to look at children as individuals and you have to know that one thing works for one child may not work for the other. And you have to be willing to step outside that box and do what you need to to make sure that child is successful. It's just got this rich history and this tradition that they got a great education here. Their parents got a great education. They know their kids are going to get that same great education. Every day is different, it's unique. Take that experience, build on it, and move forward. Sometimes you're going to have negative experiences, sometimes they'll be positive. But remember that each day is a new day. So come in with a refreshed mind and spirit and move forward. I think the memory that I have the most that was most impactful to me was when I came here as a teacher and I went into the classroom and I was hired after school began. And I looked at that room, it was empty. There was this old desk that was there that I'm thinking, what in the world am I gonna do with this? And I came up on a Saturday to set my classroom up and I'm just standing there like, I don't know what to do. And then four teachers showed up that were on my team. It was fourth grade. They opened their classrooms. They opened their doors and they said, come look in here, see what you need, get it, tell me how I can help you. And to me, that was the start. Iris Wilson, my um, first grade teacher, she ended up hiring me at my first teaching spot at Appalachie when she was principal there. So my first grade teacher ended up being my, my boss as, a, as a, my first teaching spot. When the kids walked in 75 years ago and when they walk in now that we are a community family focused school is what I think our teachers do a really good job of bringing to the table. I'm just uh, amazed at how well um, these schools have served uh, these neighborhoods and in, in our community over you know, the last hundred plus years now. But our school is part of the family. Like my family, there's so many other families that, you know, there's generations, their grandparents went to Kate Sullivan. Or if every year is a chapter, you know, some, some schools have more chapters in their book than others, but it, it, eventually they all will. They'll all have long stories to tell and wonderful things to celebrate over the, the course of their history. This is the place that if you have a student in pre-K to five, this is the place for them.